the most desperate man in America right now has to be Beto O'Rourke. He just went on national television to tell everyone that he believes that mass shooters will just turn in their guns. They're just going to turn them in. They're just going to be like, you know what? I was thinking about killing someone today, but decided I'm going to give my guns to the government instead. Here you go. Here is what he had to say on CNN. Even they couldn't believe it. Watch. I fully expect my fellow Americans to follow the law. You expect mass shooters to follow the law? Yes. Hello? Eh? Our fellow Americans will follow the law. <laughs> yes. Congressman, um, and mass shooters every one don't fall by definition. Million... The mass shooters in Parkland, in El Paso, I could go on for 10 minutes. They don't follow the law. They don't follow the law. There are so many instances where the proposals that we've made, whether it is a universal background check or a red flag law or ending the sale of weapons of war or buying those that are out there back would have stopped many of the shootings that we see in a country that loses 40,000 people a year to gun violence. That's would it stop true. every That's single not shooting? True. No, but that should be no excuse for not taking action now while we have the opportunity to do the right thing. Yeah. And we also shouldn't be limited by the politics or the conventional political wisdom or the polling or the consultant oh, class or the NRA on, I mean, on I finally taking that, decisive action. Understood. And I think that what, what uh, Mayor Bridget was saying, yeah, this it's it, obviously think how I aim, you know, shoot for something aspirational. Get but it doesn't make sense Get that Get people are going to hand over their assault weapons. If they're mass shooters, if they want to do harm to people, they're not going to follow the law. Duh. So then what's your plan? Yeah. Huh? So I, I don't know that you make uh, uh, any uh, law uh, or uh, stop uh, uh, making uh, any law because you fear that some people <laughs> will not follow the law in, in any part of, of American life. And so, yes, if somebody has a, an assault weapon, a, a weapon of war and poses a danger to people in their lives or people in their community or people in our lives, then, then we're going to stop them. And, Meaning um, what? And, You're going to go to their house. Just Ooh. tell us how it works. You're going to go to some, if somebody girl. doesn't voluntarily hand over their assault weapon. You're going to go to their house. Yeah. And then what? Yeah. What are you going to do, Beto? Huh? Hello? If if we pass uh, this law, uh, uh, um, then I expect our fellow Americans <laughs> to, to follow the law. And and this is not speculation. We've seen mm -hmm. other countries mm -hmm. do this, yeah, like I Australia. Law, I mean, seen law a significant decrease the in law. Law-abiding people follow the law, but mm -hmm. our problem mm -hmm. is with mass shooters who don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, stupid! Even CNN knows that what you're saying is stupid. And by the way, if you yourself admitted, you just admitted, Beto, that your plan will not stop all mass shootings. Well, I, I mean, it won't stop all mass shootings, just like a lot of them and stuff. How do you propose that American citizens protect themselves if you want us to give you our protection. This is exactly why the Second Amendment is so important in the United States. Beto, you are proving our point. This is why we have to have the Second Amendment. This is why we have the right to keep and bear arms. And that right shall not be infringed because we are protecting ourselves against tyranny, against intruders, against whatever the hell we need to protect ourselves from. But certainly if our government is telling us we need to turn in our guns because they're gonna be the ones to protect us. And then in the same breath says, oh, well, I mean, we're not gonna protect you 100% of the time, but like maybe 90%, that's a, that's a good rate, right? No, no, this is why the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, Beto. It is time to throw in the towel, Beto. You've lost CNN. When you've lost CNN, you know you are toast. It's time to go back to El Paso. Go get you a moonlighting job as the inflatable, wild, crazy guy at the car lot, all right? You will not take our guns. You will not do it, Beto. And I dare you, I dare you to try. What's up, everybody? Don't forget to follow and like my page. You can find me all over social media at Sarah Gonzalez TX. And don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Sarah Gonzalez Unfiltered. Go there now. Go, go, go.